with the, the room number, breakout room number, so that we, we can see if uh, the rooms are more or less balanced or not. And, uh, and please have a go at the breakout room question in the hack and D. So uh, just uh, add a uh, circle uh, or an O actually, uh, depending on your preferred choice. But the actual questions are here. Uh, so are you, we'd like to know if you are using Jupyter Notebooks and uh, whether you're using MVDime to so diff and uh, merge notebooks. Uh, if you are using my binder, or uh, or if you are using uh, our Markdown and or our Studio, and I will also paste the link to the Hack MD in the Zoom chat so that you all have it as soon as I find my. Good morning for those just joining. At the bottom of the HackMD, uh, we have an icebreaker question. So it's uh, actually four questions, a little poll. We are asking whether you are using Jupyter Notebooks, whether you have tried NBDIME binder, and whether you are using R Markdown or R Studio. And some of these questions we have already asked in the survey, but I think it's still nice to see for everybody else before we start. Okay, so it's uh, nine o'clock. Welcome everyone to uh, day five of the Code Refinery workshop. We are going to go through an intro to documentation with uh, Radovan Bast and Anne Filou and also, sorry, on Jupyter Notebooks, and, uh, and uh, then we'll move on to a documentation with Samantha Witke and uh, Radovan again. Welcome everyone again, and uh, I will be pasting the link to the HackMD, so please post all your questions there. Re uh, please remember to turn off your camera if you have it on, and also to rename yourself in Zoom. And with this, uh, please, Radovan. Thanks, Diana. Uh, let me take the screen from you. All right. So good morning, everybody. <clears throat> really looking, for, looking forward to the session. Let me first scroll up here in the HackMD so that you know what to expect. So the theme today is really documentation. And we will look at it from different angles. I also see the Jupyter Notebook and Jupyter Lab lesson as part of documenting uh, our work. So it's a common theme. You can expect, so there will be four breakout room exercises today, and they are linked here. Um, we will also try to keep the breaks non-negotiable. And we will, like yesterday, we will try this co-teaching. So the Jupyter lesson, uh, I will co-teach together with Anne. And later we will co-teach with Samantha the documentation lesson. And what we will try is to have a conversation. And I hope that Anne will ask me lots of questions, help me watch the HackMD, uh, interrupt as much as possible, correct wherever I say something that is not completely correct. So let's see how it goes. And I will be the person today, this morning, making all these typos and typing here. What else did I want to say? On bottom of the HackMD, we have this question for you. So please vote here. It's this really low tech poll. So we would like to know, are you using Jupyter Notebooks? Are you, have you ever tried NBDime? And I can see here that Yes, many people are not new to Jupyter Notebooks. NBDime doesn't seem to be used. That's great because this is something we will demonstrate. Also Binder, not too many people here. Also great because this is, some, this is a fantastic service and we will test it out. And also an important question, are you using R Markdown and or R Studio? 
and a couple of people are. And that will be a little bit of a challenge now because this lesson, the next one and a half hours <clears throat> will be not only for, I mean, it will be, I think, very, very useful for those writing Python. But, okay, a couple of challenges here. So I think the two challenges that we need to cater to is many people are not new to notebooks. So we will not show everything that a notebook can do, but we will try to show you the things that you may not want and that are super useful. So we will really focus on, on uh, giving good recommendations on how to work with version control and BDIME and binder. So I think this is really for me the focus, these two parts. But I will also try to have something interesting for those who are not using notebooks and don't plan to, because maybe you are using RStudio or Markdown, but we have something there for you too. And here also the, we have an example where you can try to deploy your RStudio to Binder. And on the bottom of FKD, I put two links. One will take me to the Jupyter lesson, which I will, so I will follow this link in a second. And we also need to activate the Conda environment. So maybe let me do that as a first step. So if you follow this page, where does it take me? We need to do this. And I will do that too in my terminal. And I can see now that my that the that the Conda environment is activated. Because this will give me JupyterLab and the, the libraries that we need inside the Jupyter lesson. So, so please, for Windows user, what do you suggest? I think we we maybe we could repeat. Yes, what did we actually? announce here how to do that. I see this is the Anaconda prompt. Uh, make sure you take uh, the Anaconda prompt to activate. Hmm. So I have to say that I don't, I'm not super sure. Oh, I was assuming that this also works on, on the Git bash. Uh, yeah, if they have uh, followed the instruction in the setup, they, it, it should work. But if you have any problems saying that Conda is not a good command, um, the easiest. I mean, we only start Jupyter Lab now, so mm -hmm. um, it should be okay from uh, Anaconda prompt. Yes, and we have here somewhere here also when you click on Miniconda, we have these uh, examples on how to activate them depending on on the OS. Yeah, who, and I'm, I realized that it's a little bit tiny depending on Windows, Mac, Linux. So we are hoping that you've done this and I'm uh, hoping that this works. And the first exercise will be very well paced. So you can also do that then in the exercise room. Back to Hack and D, let me look at the, at the votes. So thanks so much for the votes here. And now I will go to, to this material, so Jupyter. And when you visit this page, this is, how it looks, zoom out. And I will zoom in in a moment. I just want to show you that now suddenly the lessons look a little bit different than on days one to four. But you can navigate here on, on the sidebar. And what we, what we see here is actually Sphinx. And we will learn more about it later today. So that's a nice way of documenting code, but so we also use it to deploy lessons. And just to make it a bit more readable, so I will zoom in. I'll use this hamburger menu to navigate. Oops. 